What is up guys, Jack54 HD here and welcome to episode 13 of my Road to Mesa series and as you can see on the screen, screen straight away we actually sold Inform Javinio for 309k along with them other three players so on the Javinio uh, I think we actually made about a 50 to 60k profit on him which is really really nice um, you know it's going to set us forward quite a bit on our way to Messi and um, you know as we, you will have seen the other three players sold for about 23k profit each which isn't bad at all um, here we're just searching for the price of Giovini as well because I thought he might have you know maybe risen at all um, from you know being out of packs for quite a while and not many getting released um, but turns out he didn't and it was still around the same price as what I picked him up for or sorry what I sold him for did actually pick up a uh, third inform Nene I believe that is now and also an inform Giovinco um, I tried to send the third inform and then a to a second inform Walcott because if it was me and I saw a, a 88 red inform be offered to me for my 85 red inform, I would you know be like, oh maybe that he's giving me a good deal or something. But uh, you know, it turns out he didn't accept and rejected pretty much straight away. Uh, tried to catch him off guard, but it didn't really work at all. Also picked up a second inform Walcott myself through an open bid. For 167k, which isn't bad at all, I think that was about 10k under the market average price at that point. Um, also sold the second inform roads for 49,250 coins, which is gonna you know make us around 8 to 9k profit, which is fairly decent, um, to be honest. And also selling the last Moreno here, sent attack mid for 1212, so it should make us around 4k profit as we picked them up for 3,800. Um, accepted an offer for an Nabiba um, of these four. Well, three Ivory Coast players and one Ghanaian player. Should be able to sell all of them players along with the coins for around 20k or so, maybe just a bit under. So, um, we actually got around, you know, the price that we were trying to get for him anyway. So, made about 2k profit on that informed player, which is kind of a, a letdown, but, you know, we'll get on with it. And um, it shouldn't set us back too much at all on our way to Messi. I think this silver in, yeah, this silver player, uh, left mid four 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 two, from Ivory Coast sold for six thousand uh, three hundred, and the Zaha sold for six thousand one hundred as you will see in a second. Uh, so not bad at all. I think um, we do actually. Yeah, we go and pick up quite a few on Rees. I think this one we picked up for eight k, so I should be able to sell it on for just over ten k. Um, the reason why I was getting these cards, guys, is because. He's basically perfect for a price fix if you've got enough coins. He's going to be stopped from pack soon um, as he's going back to the MLS. So his Arsenal version is going to get very, very rare. Um, it won't get ver very rare soon. But, um, you know, I just think it'll get a bit more... Um, I think his price will rise because there's going to be a bit more demand of him now that people don't really know that he's coming out of packs too often. Um, so our trade pile is looking actually pretty good at the moment. We've got quite a few informed players and ones that are going to make us quite a nice profit when we do sell them. Um, I'm going to try and cook these informs for quite a while. But here I kind of failed. Um, I didn't actually record what I got Dremfe for. Um, I did actually pick them up for 31750 at about 3 in the morning. So it was kind of a really good deal there. Sold them on for 47250 which is going to make us a profit of around... 15 well 14 to 15 K which isn't bad at all um, and this is going to come to the end of the episode guide guys I did actually pick up the informed dyer for 401 K so hopefully making around 20 K profit on him when he sells um, he is a bit of annoying a player to sell so if anyone if anyone's looking for an informed dyer and wants to pick one up uh, mine is the cheapest in the market but that's what that's uh, it for today's episode guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and um, as always please be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video and have a nice day.